Welcome to Compassion in Hour, brought to you by Christ Compassion Ministry, Church on the Hill, Atsi River. Christ Compassion Ministry brings healing to the brokenhearted and equips workers for effective ministry. May God visit you as you listen to the Word of God, brought to you by our senior pastor, Apostle Enos Rodeni. Focus your eyes Basu weka macho yako. on God. Kwa Mungu. As I said, you never know who is going to be at your help. Or who God is going to move to help you. So wherever you go, Basu expect anybody anywhere to be moved by God. The scripture says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter number 11 and verse number 6 he says, sow your seed in the morning and in the evening withhold not your hand. For you know not which one. Amen. Amen. You know not which one will bring forth the same manner as you fix your eyes on Jesus. Are you sharing me? Are you hearing me? I want you to understand church. When God says that he has blessed the church with every spiritual blessing it is here with us. Are you hearing me? Heaven is not up there. Heaven is here with us. It's right here. You are in heaven right here. Amen. Amen. You are walking in the platform of God's blessings. Amen. Amen. You are walking in the platform of God's blessings. Glory to God. So you know not which one is going to be your help. Which one is going to open doors for you? Which one is going to unlock destiny for you? So walk your walk as a miracle child. When you wake up, expect a miracle of the day. When you walk out, expect that everything is going to work in your favor. You know not which one is going to work for you. But as you fix your eyes on Jesus, just expect that any one of this will turn to my favor. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Don't you ever live a life of expecting your uncle thinking that I must call my uncle I must call my grandmother I must talk to so and so now such a person is having their trust in the flesh you stop God from helping you but as you go every day expect the unusual Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your life is a miracle life. Maisha yako ni maisha ya miujiza. Isaac sowed his seed. Isaka alipanda mbegu yake. In an expected season. Katika msimu usio tarajiwa. And the scripture says, na maandiko yanasema, he had a harvest. Alikuwa na mavuno a hundredfold. Asilimia 100. Why? Because Isaac was a miracle child. Maana Isaka alikuwa mwana wa miujiza. Lift your hand and shout I'm a miracle child. I'm a miracle child. Say things will work for me. Things will work for me. Do you believe it? Ye unamini. Do you believe it? Ye unamini. So expect everything and anything around you. Tarajia chochote kuhusu wewe. The Bible says creation is groaning. Maandika anasema uumbaji unalia. For the manifestation of the sons of God. Tarajia kuona udhihirisho wa wana wa Mungu. Creation, uumbaji. Creation, uumbaji. Even trees, hata miti. Animals, wanyama, donkeys, punda, are groaning for the manifestation of sons of God. You know what that means? It means 
everything around kila kitu kilichopo is looking for somebody inatafuta mtu who believes ambaye anaamini that their miracle kama muujiza wake comes unatoka from whatsoever is around toka chochote so, kilicho kiko karibu so wherever you pass by popote unapopiga they ought to acknowledge lazima utambue that there is there is a a son of god kama kuna mwana wa mungu that is passing by ambaye anapita hapa faith imani is a magnet ni kivutio to god's miracles kama muujiza wa mungu whatsoever you believe chochote unachoamini is a magnet to catch ni kivutio cha kupita what god has outlined to happen kila ambacho cha mungu amekusudia kitendeke so if there is a job kama kuna kazi opportunity nafasi and you know na wewe unajua creation is groaning viumbaji vinalia for the manifestation vikingoja kuona udhihirisho of sons of god ya wana wa mungu a job is a creation kazi ni kiumbe is an opportunity created by god ni nafasi imeumbwa na mungu it is groaning ya inangojea for the manifestation kuona udhihirisho of the sons of god ya wana wa mungu how are sons manifest wana wanadhihirika namna gani how are sons manifest wana wanadhihirika namna gani jesus yesu takes the scroll anachukua man daftari he reads the scroll anasoma daftari when he finished alipomaliza he put it down anaiweka chini and he says na anasema from this day kutoka siku ya leo the scripture maandiko is fulfilled yametimika in your hearing katika masikio yenu Isaiah said it in Isaiah 61 Isaiah alisema katika Isaiah 61 But Jesus manifested it in Luke chapter number 4 Lakini Yesu alidhihirisha katika Luka sura ya 4 What was he talking about? Alikuwa anazungumzia nini? He was saying from today Alikuwa anasema kutoka leo Whatsoever my father spoke about me Chochote Mungu wangu baba yangu alisema You are going to see it Unaenda kuiona Wherever I go Popote nitakapoenda I will be manifest Nitakuwa nadhihirika Whatsoever I do Chochote nitakachotenda I will be manifest kwa nadhihirika I have found myself nimejipata mwenyewe in the scripture katika maandiko I am not ordinary mimi si wa kawaida I am the son of God mimi ni mwana wa Mungu and from today na kutoka leo everything kila kitu will work in my favor tena kwa ajili ya faida yangu according to the scripture kulingana na maandiko as you sharing me unanisikiza and therefore the scripture says basi maandiko yanasema that the son of God kama mwana wa Mungu was manifest alidhihirika to destroy the works of the devil kwa haribu Why? Kwa nini? Because he himself maana yeye mwenyewe acknowledged alitambua who he was. Yeye ni nani? And from that day na kutoka hiyo siku he began to expect alianza kutarajia wherever you went popote alipoenda miracles miujiza miracles miujiza and things na mitu working in his favor. Kitenda kazi kwa ajili ya faida yake. So that is why I'm saying ndio maana nasema you looking for a job wewe unatafuta kazi there are jobs kuna kazi they are looking for the sons of god ambaye inatafuta wana wa mungu to be manifest kudhihirika how do you manifest unadhihirika namna gani believe this amini hii that every time ya kama kila wakati wherever you go popote unapoenda jobs will look for you kazi itakutafuta there is somebody somewhere kuna mtu mahali that god has set ambaye mungu amemweka to help you kukusaidia wewe there is someone somewhere kuna mtu mahali that god has placed ambaye mungu amemweka to work in your favor tena kazi kwa ajili ya faida yako that should be your work yeye ndiye inahitaji kwa mtu Wherever you go popote unapoenda as you make every step unapofanya kila hatua believe amini that your steps are steps of miracles kama hatua zako na hatua za miujiza your steps are steps of miracles hatua zako na hatua za miujiza not failure sio kushindwa not defeat sio kushindwa not delay sio kuchelewa but miracles lakini miujiza in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu may god take away from your remembrance wacha mungu aondoe katika ukumbusho wako the spirit of failure hiyo roho ya kushindwa the spirit of stagnation hiyo roho ya kukwama the spirit of thinking that you cannot make it hiyo roho ya kufikiria kwamba uwezo ukafaulu let it be out of your mind wacha ikatoke katika mawazo yako and may god open your eyes wacha mungu afungue macho yako as paul says bila paulo anasema that the eyes of your understanding kama macho yako elewa kwako may be open ikafunguliwe that you may see ili kwamba ukaone the opportunities of god nafasi za mungu the blessings of god baraka za mungu that your ears may hear masikio yako yakasikia call of god mwito wa mungu the opportunities of god fursa za mungu that your eyes may see ili macho yako yakaone the helpers wasaidizi helpers wasaidizi help us wasaidizi that god has set before you ambao mungu ameweka mbele yako lift up your hands ina mkono wako juu 
Father, I pray for this congregation that from today as they go out their eyes will see and acknowledge this is my helper. This is my helper. This is my helper. And I ask you, Father, that multitudes of helpers will come their way and their ways will be unlocked that by the helpers they will prosper. Now I release upon your life multitudes of helpers in the name of Jesus wherever you go let helpers come before you in your office let there be helpers on the streets let there be helpers in the offices let there be helpers on the public transport let there be helpers in Jesus Name. Give him a clap of praise. Kings needed priests. Because kings went to war and brought wealth. Priests kept the judgment of God. So the kings could not operate on their own. They needed a priest. And by the priests, they succeeded. In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter number 24, and verse number 14, King Joash faithfully served God under the priesthood of Jehoiada. But he quickly turned away from God after the death of the priest. And because the priest died and they had no priest, the nation was destroyed. Let me just read it. Second Chronicles chapter number 24, verse number 14. And when they had finished it, they brought the rest of the money before the king and Jehoiada. Where hope for for the house of the Lord, even the vessels to minister and to offer with all, and spoons and vessels and of gold and silver. And they offered burnt offerings in the house of the Lord continually all the days of. Now let's go to the next one. But Jehoiada waxed old and was full of days when he died. And 130 years old was he when he died. And they buried him in the city of David among the kings because he had done good in Israel. Now after the death of Jehoiada came the princess of Judah and made to the king. Then the king hearkened unto them and they left the house of the Lord God and served grooves and idols and wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for their why Kwanini? because the king Kwa sababu mfalme, needs the priest kuhani. they both go together pamoja. and as long as the priest was Na mradi, likuwa. the king succeeded mfalme alifaulu. in your job or whatever things you do Katika kazi yako, ama yoyote, remember the kings went Kumbuka uzita wa mfalme. and made wealth Alifanya utajiri. as long as they were with the priest mradi, and as soon as the priest died, and they began to walk in their own ways, all that they had kept on capturing and capturing, got lost. Remember, you always need a priest in your life. Many people, when God begins to prosper them, they walk away from the grace of God. This is the source of your increase. And God continues to help you. As long as you are connected to the house. The grace of God in the house. You continue and continue to prosper. So continue in that. In the book of Isaiah. Chapter number 41. Verse number 10. The Bible says. Fear not. 
Usiogope. For I am with you. Maana niko na wewe. Be not dismayed. Wewe usifadhaishwe. For I am your God. Fa maana mimi ni Mungu wako. I will strengthen you. Nitatikutia nguvu. Now let's read the next one there. Natusome nayo fuatia pale. Yes, I will do what? I will help. Ndio nitakusaidia. I will help you. Nitakusaidia. I want you to understand that God acknowledges. Nataka utaelewe kwamba Mungu anatambua. That you need help. Kama unahitaji usaidizi. You need help. Unahitaji usaidizi. Never try to fix things. Usijaribu wewe kufanya mambo peke yako. When Abraham stayed for long without getting a child. Wakati Abraham alikaa kwa muda mrefu pasipokuwa na mtoto. He tried to fix it. Alijaribu wewe kufanya mwenyewe. And he got a child called Ishmael. Akapata mtoto anaitwa Ishmael. Ishmael became a problem. Ishmael akafanyika shida up to today. Hadi siku ya leo. Because he acted on his own. Maana alitenda kivi yake mwenyewe. But God who says I will help you. Lakini Mungu anayesema nitakusaidia. Committed himself to help him. Alijitolea kumsaidia. And gave him Isaac. Akampatia Isaka. Isaac became a blessing. Isaka akafanyika baraka and blessed. Na mebarikiwa. When God says I will help you. Mungu akisema nitakusaidia. He's committed to give you something in your life. Yeye ametolea kupatia kitu katika maisha yako. There will not be a pain. Ambayo haitakuwa uchungu. The blessings of God. Baraka za Mungu. Make it one rich very rich. Zinamfanya mmoja kuwa tajiri sana. And there is no sorrow with them. Na hakuna huzuni ambayo inaambatanisha nayo. But when we try to make it happen. Lakini tukijaribu kufanya itendeke. It may look like you are gaining for a season. Inaweza kuonekana unafaidika kwa muda fulani. In the long run. Lakini mwishowe katika umilele. It will be pain. Itakuwa uchungu. Do not try to help yourself. Usijaribu kujisaidia mwenyewe. When you are in need. Wakati uko katika hitaji. Acknowledge that God is saying. Tambua kama Mungu anasema. Fear not. Usiogope. I am with you. Niko na wewe. In the time of your need. Katika wakati wa hitaji lako. Acknowledge that God Tambua kwamba Mungu is with you. Yuko na wewe. Be not dismayed. Wewe usifadhaishwe. For God is your God. Maana Mungu ni Mungu wako. He says I will strengthen you. Anasema nitakutia nguvu. Yes. Ndio. I will help you. Nitakusaidia. I will do what? I will help you. Help you. Atakusaidia. God will help you. Mungu atakusaidia. Don't ever think you are getting late. Wewe usifikiria kwamba unachelewa. With God one day is like a thousand years. Na Mungu siku moja ni kama miaka 1000. And a thousand years is one day. Na miaka 1000 ni kama siku moja. There is no lateness with God. Hakuna kuchelewa na Mungu. Hold on this scripture. Wewe shikilia haya maandiko. I know that God is saying. Na ujua kama Mungu anasema. Fear not. Siogope. I am with you. Niko na wewe. Amen. Amen. I am with you. Niko na wewe. Be not dismayed. Wewe usifadhaishwe. I am your God. Mimi ni Mungu wako. I will strengthen you. Nitakutia nguvu. Yes. Ndio. I will help you. Nitakusaidia. Amen. Amen. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Nami nitakushikilia na mkono wangu wa kiume kwa haki. Isaiah chapter number 41 verse 13. Isaiah 41 mstari wa 13. Verse number 13 says, Mstari wa 13 wasema, For I the Lord your God, Maana mimi Bwana Mungu wako, I will hold your right hand. Nitashika mkono wako wa kiume. Saying to you, Nikikwambia wewe, Fear not. Usiogope. I will help you. Nitakusaidia. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I the Lord your God, Mimi Bwana Mungu wako, will hold your right hand. Nitashika mkono wako wa kiume. God is saying I will hold your right hand. Mungu anasema nitashika mkono wako wa kiume. Your right hand. Mkono wako wa kiume. Your right hand hand of strength. Mkono wako wa kiume ni mkono wa nguvu. In other words when you are hand when you are feeling weak. Katika maana mengine wakati wewe unajihisi mdhaifu and feeling like giving up. Na unahisi kana kama uko karibu kukata tamaa. No one thing. Jua jambo moja. That your God is with you. Na kama Mungu yuko na wewe to give you strength again. Kukupatia nguvu tena. And he's saying to you. Na anakuambia wewe, fear not. Usiogope. I will help you. Nitakusaidia. God, Mungu is your help. Yeye ndio usaidizi wako. Psalm 46 verse 1. Zaburi 46 mstari wa kwanza. God is our refuge. Mungu ndio kimbilio letu. And strength. Na nguvu. A very present help. Msaada uliopo. In what time? Wakati gani? In what time? Wakati gani? In trouble. Wakati wa shida. Whenever you are in trouble, don't 
hand to men. The hand of men is short lived. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But you who believe in Jesus Christ, you will trust in the name of the Lord your God. He's a very present help in times of trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a present help. He's not a help that will come from somewhere else. He's present right there. In your place of trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed. And though the mountains be carried. Into the midst of the sea. Even though the earth be removed. I don't think you've come to a place of trouble where the earth is removed. You have been troubled until the earth is removed. It means even your house has collapsed. You haven't reached there yet. <laughs> if the earth be removed for you, it means everything around you has sunk. But God is saying even when you get there and the mountains are carried into the sea around you even at that point you will not be afraid. Oh my God. Church I want you to know God is a refuge. God is a strong tower. Mungu ni ngome imara. God is a hiding place. Mungu ni mahali pa kujificha. You can hide in God. Unaweza kujificha kwa Mungu. You can stay under him. Unaweza kaa chini yake. You can be safe under God. Unaweza kuwa salama chini ya Mungu. You can be sure of refuge in God. Unaweza kuwa na uhakika wa kimbilio katika Mungu. And at a given time, na wakati fulani, your help wako will show forth. Utajidhihirika. Hebrews 13 verse 6. Waibrania 13 mstari wa 6. The Lord is my helper and I will not fear what men shall do. How will I say it? I will say it boldly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will not be afraid. I will say it boldly that the Lord is my helper and I will, know, I will, fear, I will not fear what man shall do to me if things have lifted up themselves around you and men have spoken things about you or schemes have, done, have been done around you you can only open your mouth boldly and say the Lord is my helper. Even in this one, the Lord will help me. Church, let me tell you, God has committed himself to help us. God has committed himself to help you. Wherever you are, whatever you are facing, whatever is challenging you, I want you to know this. There is enough help. Help comes from God. God will surely help you. You are not alone. You are not stuck. We cannot be stuck. We will never be stuck. We can only make it. We can only progress. We can only go forth. We can only break forth. A thousand will fall on our side. And ten thousand on the other. Because Jehovah, our great God, is our help. When we come weak, God will show forth as a mighty helper. When a barrier comes to stand on our way, we shall acknowledge God is our helper. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. And he's the same forever. That same God that came to the rescue of Israel by the sea the Red Sea that same God is still a helper if he help Israel he will help you let me say today to you you 
may be hearing me and you are like standing by the Red Sea like Israel was you don't know how to move forward and you don't know how to turn back you don't know how to go to the side hear me God is your helper and right now I'm going to call on the name of this God that is our helper this God that is our helper will turn to you oh my God as I'm speaking now, I'm just seeing God. I'm seeing God. I'm seeing God. I want you to know this, children of God. Your eyes may not see a being standing before you. But remember, Lakini kumbuka James John and Peter Yakobo Yohana na Petero on the mountain of transfiguration walikuwa katika mlima wa kuhuishwa but right there lakini pale pale Jesus was with them yes alikuwa na wao but they could not see lakini hawangeona Elijah and Moses Elia na Musa and the glory that God had released on that mountain but Jesus Yesu, see that glory I want you to know there are moments that you may not see the way they could not see but Jesus would see it he would see that glory that is what I'm seeing now and I'm saying to you you may not see it but I want you to know that God our helper is right here right with you right on your side right where you are I don't know what is locked in your life but this helper has come to unlock things that are locked lift up your hand my father I ask you now in the name of Jesus whatsoever thing that is locked in the life of your children because you have said that you are here I am now asking you you are the barrier breaker you are the unlocker of locks you are the opener of doors you are the operator of operations God Almighty I ask you get into action break barriers unlock doors open doors now bring down barriers divide rivers make ways come down upon them now break chains loose them God now my father let your power work in their lives now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus right now I release the power of the Holy Ghost the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life in the name of Jesus in every dimension of your life where you needed him Try it now. Thank you, Master, for what you're doing. Thank you, Master, for what you're doing. Thank you, Master, for what you're doing. Right now, all over this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Multiple miracles. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for that idea that you have just released. Somebody has just received an idea. Thank you for that eye that you have just opened. They can now see a solution. Thank you for that darkness that has just been removed. Now there is light in front. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, I cannot tell you anymore. All that I can tell you. That God is right where you are. Doing miracles with you, with you, with you. With you, with you, with you alone. They are where 
as you are. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that bucket that is healed. That bucket is healed. That bucket is healed. Thank you, thank you, thank you Master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that who cried for help. Thank you that you have helped them. Thank you, Master. Lord, I give you praise. Oh, somebody give him praise. 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 Oh, somebody give him praise. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master, for what you're doing. We trust that you have been blessed for prayer. Call us on the numbers appearing on the screen. Join us again on the Compassionate Hour next Sunday, same time. God bless you and do have a very victorious week.